regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. I have never done this. I don't know what you do. What bribe do you buy from Piero? I thought Piero slept in his workshop. Wait, what? Attention, Dunwall citizens. Mm, never mind. Has chosen... I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is... There is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for you're damn right. reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas. How is she fine? I got that in the tub. I sniped it. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Yeah, sure. How much do I have to? Oh, that's fine. I always just make the rats tell me. I always make the rats make him tell me. I didn't know you could just like buy him some booze, and then he's fine with it. Holy moly! King Street brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. But I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a He's talking about dead ass. Very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the boils are wealthy and ruthless, so security is very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? No. Right. You will be able to I don't know where you got that from. You'll have to find out which of the boil women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I 
I really enjoy this non-lethal removal. Is this guy gonna talk to me? Yes, he is. I hear you're off to the boils, little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. <gasps> oh, hiccups. Not fun. Not a good time. Would not recommend. Hiccups got a 1 out of 10 for me. The boy old costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Samuel, I was born ready. Take me. To the boiler state, I mean. You know, if someone had eaten one of these, I could really have picked a quieter snack than crispers. Great. The Lord Regent's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. I kind of hate the tall boys because they they can't be put to sleep you can't choke them out you can't sleep dart them actually you might be able to sleep dart them but it might take like two or three sleep darts new mission clue wait what wait what what is it talking about I'm so confused Anyway, first we'll come over this way and deal with all that. Okay, that's just health elixir. Yeah, because there's a couple of things out here. Uh, yeah, so like all of this stuff that I actually care about is outside of the party. And then like all of the... All of the things that... I need to do for the mission or inside the party. So this place gives me the creeps. Didn't old Granny Rags used to live right here? Who? That crazy old lady? They say she used to be a noblewoman until her whole family died off. They say she sold them to the outsider. How about this? You do your damn job, and I'll watch out for scary old ladies. That sounds like a good plan. That's a plan a man can get behind. I don't know what you're referring to, uh, nothing's going on here. Is a man not allowed to just take a nap in an alley? After having a meeting with the most wanted man in the Empire? Alright, I managed to somehow- What is happening with this box? I keep getting stuck on it. And it's not even like me trying to get stuck on it because it's stupid, it's just me getting stuck on it. Okay, gotta go up here. Then up here, and I believe this building is full of weepers. Yeah. Rune is right there, though. Thank you for your cooperation. Going to a party, Corvo? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the Executioner. Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tivian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters, and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party, and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Absolutely. Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. So I invite you all to guess which ending I'm going for with this mission. 
There's a couple more Reapers coming in. And I at least want to explore the upper section. I forgot that does that. I forgot you can't teleport through people. The universe will be respected in this game. How do you know? There we go. I'm sure I can find a sleep dart somewhere to replace the one I used. Oh, World One Two. A bone charm I will also not use. Give me that. And then I will take all the lovely coin. As my boil is a rutting hound. Dang. A single coin. Like that is that is a dick move of a coin. Why put that there? Oh wait, he doesn't live here anymore. Okay. Yeah, and then bottom floor is... Oh no, this isn't bottom floor. This is bottom... Christ, that rat somehow scared me. Is this guy just here to be a weenie in the corner? He is, what does he do? Oh no, he's gonna go die. Yeah. Watch this. Tall boy should notice him, and then he's he's done. Or not, I guess. I don't know. That's strange. I'm used to tall boys actually doing things. But not this time. Now, I believe there should be some stuff up here. This is where I usually stand if I want to try and take out the tall boy. I'll just stand up here and shoot him with, like, sleep darts. But it doesn't really do much, and that's upsetting. I'm not sure if that's a map or if that's a, uh... She hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I'm gonna take one of those zealots apart nice. myself. Okay, I think this is just a map. I'll be right behind you. Hold on, so I've gotten all the things on this side of the river. Yeah, the tall boys, they're they're cool enemies. I just Hate dealing with them because I prefer stealth in this game. Ow! I figured I'd have been fine. Apparently not. But yeah, I, I just don't like the tall boys for stealth. Cause like everything else in the game, you can deal with except the tall boys. The tall boys just make you have to avoid them or you know just do something else. Which I mean, like I guess if the intention is to make them something you have to avoid, fair enough. But like. I prefer some way to deal with them. I don't know how I'm going to get past this tall boy. Uh, he might not see me if I just stand up on the lamps. Where even? Here we go. I'm gonna quick save just in case. Let's see, rune. Uh... Oh, there's like a rune down in the river. Well then. Someone's supposed to be on duty over here. Let's just see what happens if I get another. 
Wait, what do you mean another crack at this guy? You haven't seen me yet. 